Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wala Aqibatil Muttaqeen Wala Udwan Ila Ala Zalimeen Wa Sallallahu Wa Sallam Ala Nabiyyana Muhammad Wa Ala Ali Wa Sahbihi Wa Sallam Amma Ba'd Ahabita Fillah What should the new Muslim strive to pay attention to? And what can help the new Muslim to stay steadfast upon Kitabullah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? And as I've said countless times, that only comes with ilm. That only comes with knowledge. And of course the practice of that knowledge. As Imam Muhammad said, Rahimahullah ta'ala, Imam Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab, he said, I'lam rahimakullah innahu yajibu alayna ta'allam arba masail he said, Know that verily it's an obligation upon every believer to know four things. And he said, The first thing is knowledge. <coughs> so, knowledge, of course, is something that's going to help you stay grounded something that's going to keep you excited about being a new Muslim and a place to put your zeal your enthusiasm and the second thing he mentioned he said Wathani or he said al -ilm. and then he said Wa so he said that knowledge is the first thing that every Muslim must know and then he defined what knowledge is. He said, knowledge, al-ula, al-ilmu huwa ma'rafatullah. It means knowing Allah. Wa ma'rafat al-nabi. And knowing the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa ma'rafat al-deen al-islam bi'adillah. And knowing the religion of Islam with its textual evidences. This is what's going to help the new Muslims say grounded. The first thing, as we said, is knowledge. So that doesn't mean knowledge of being an engineer, knowledge of being a doctor, knowledge of being a lawyer, knowledge of being a mechanic, whatever knowledge that has benefit, but it's not ilm al really, true beneficial knowledge, which is that of Kitab al Sunnah, because that's what's going to help you when you all die and what you will be questioned about in the grave. And then he mentioned Afani al Amal al So, along with that knowledge that you attain of Islam, and knowledge being knowledge of Allah, Tawheed, knowledge of the Prophet, وسلم, his Sirah and the Sunnah, and knowledge of the religion of Islam with his proofs, is practicing that knowledge, al Amal al and the third thing is calling to that knowledge. So when you have knowledge and you're practicing that knowledge, then you begin your da'wah. Unlike Jamaat Tabliq and some of the other groups and sects, they begin by calling to Allah. Anyone, just say, hey. They, they believe that everyone should be entitled to give da'wah. Well, everyone can give da'wah to the extent of their ability. The problem is, is transgressing that bound transgressing those bounds by speaking about that which you have no knowledge about. So I've seen Jama'at from, I've seen Jama'at from Jama'at al Tabliq, for example, stand up with new Muslims basically, standing up in the masjid to give bayan, to speak to the people about Islam and Tawheed. And the person was not proficient in the English language even though he was a native speaker. And the person could not even, had no proofs and just spoke and made many mistakes due to nervousness. So they were not mustahik for that makan. They were not, did not have the right to speak about Islam and get in front of the people and call the people to Tawheed because they didn't have the knowledge, the prerequisite. So it's gaining that knowledge and then it's practicing that knowledge. Then it's calling to that knowledge. And the fourth thing is, then after making da'wah, is being patient and it's all a part of the same all of it that you make you're patient through that whole process because to gain knowledge 
requires patience, requires tab. As the Salaf used to say, say, Al ilm lem yati bi rahat jizat. That knowledge does not come by being comfort, comfortable in your body. So a lot of, that's why you find there's a lot of ulama, unfortunately, because of their lifestyle as well. But you see many of them that they might suffer even in their young age of different ailments, things in their back, back problems, all kind of things, because they spend so much time just in the book, in those books, Kitab Sunnah. So in order to get that level, it requires being uncomfortable. It requires striving. It requires sacrifice. And it requires patience. Those are just some of the important aspects of for, for the new Muslim to be concerned about. And it's all contained, you'll find it, in the book entitled uh, Thalatha Usul, or Usul Thalatha, The Three Principles, which is translated widespread in English, all over the internet, all over, and with explanations. And that is very beneficial advice. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.